Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, this is gonna be a glossier, glossier, a glossier. I'm gonna say glossier because that's what I usually hear. Today I have a glossier unboxing video for you guys. Right now I don't have any makeup on, as you can tell by like my breakouts and everything. I wanted to try out a little sample thing that I got, which you will see once I do the unboxing, and then afterwards I'm gonna do my regular makeup and then use the items that i also got i hope you guys enjoy this video before i go ahead with the unboxing i also want to apologize for my absence on youtube it's been a good amount of time since i have recently uploaded it's lame of excuses is. i've just been super duper busy with school i have school monday through thursday and then i'm also working just like a part-time job at a restaurant nearby me so time has just been going by super fast i had my first two big exams for my two of the classes just kidding i have three exams actually and today i just finished all my exams and so i'm a little bit more like i feel the weight lift off my shoulder but i'm gonna try to manage everything a little bit better than i have been and also like be able to balance youtube with it all but i'm really excited for this video i have been seeing like a lot more glossier videos recently and i'm super late i really wanted a chapstick and i didn't have any and my co-worker had some and she let me try it and it was the bomb.com and coconut and so I wanted to order that and obviously whenever I was looking on the website They had like a whole promo to where if you spend $50 or more you get to try a trial size of this perfume that they have That's supposedly like a sweet musky scent, which I really really like sweet scents And so I wanted to try it really bad. So without like further ado, I'm gonna go do the whole unboxing spiel so cute that this is what the box looks like that it came in i don't know if you guys like this kind of unboxing or like actually just seeing me like open it but we're gonna try this one this is my oh shoot that was so unsmooth but once you cut it from the tape obviously you just go and you ow this is gonna be like the most unsmooth unboxing video probably on youtube and then you open it and it just looks like this right there it just says glossier and then you open it and it comes in this really cute pink bubble wrap so first to finish in the box this is a trial thing i got i got the glossier a milk jelly cleanser which is super popular but then i also heard some people say like they didn't notice how much of a difference and i hate returning stuff online so i wanted to try a sample before like i really bought it because it is one of the most popular items and then you also get a really cute sticker which looks like this so then for this part it's already open which is interesting so i'm just gonna go ahead and open it so the first thing i got is a glossier coconut bomb.com which is the whole reason i even purchased stuff online so i got that and then i got also another bomb.com that i wanted to try this is in the birthday because i really like sweet scents as i said earlier and i wanted to try that one and this one's sparkly so i was like it's different kind of i got the glossier holoscope which is their like stick highlighter and then i got the glossier cloud paint which is also one of their most popular items i got this one on the color dusk and the last thing i got is the glossier boy brow which just looks like this it's really little this is also one of the most popular items this is the perfume that i was really wanting to try out it is the glossier I don't even know what this is called, but it just looks like this. It's a little trial size. So I'm gonna go ahead and try the milk jelly cleanser. So on the packaging, it says it is a conditioning face wash. It is a creamy gel formula that removes impurities and softens without stripping your skin of moisture. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the bathroom and try this one out. So I am now in my bathroom, as you can tell. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the jelly cleanser. I like to make the water warm. Because I heard it opens up your pores or something. And then I go and rinse off the face wash with cold water to close your pores. It's like not getting warmer. My face is wet, as you can tell. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this. Okay, that was. Oh, okay. It's like actually kind of like lotiony texture almost. Like it's pretty thick. It's not like liquidy or anything. And I'm gonna go ahead and like dish and then like dish okay it feels pretty thick like almost like a lotion i don't really know how i feel about the scent it almost smells like like clinique lipstick if you've ever smelled that before it kind of takes a lot for me to be like really impressed with skincare i've never really like gotten amazed by some skin like face wash or anything 
I just have always used usually like clean and clear or I've tried out um, like freshes, like the fresh line like skincare at Sephora and it was like okay but I feel like to spend like more than five dollars on a face wash because I really like clean and clear and it's five dollars like it has to be super good if it's more than twenty dollars i expect it to be like really good and like make my skin immediately glowy and stuff which is kind of unrealistic but um yeah i'm just gonna massage as you can tell i have like a big breakout on my forehead and i think i'm done now i'm just gonna rinse it off i'm getting a pimple on my hairline and i feel it it hurts <laughs> my hair keeps getting in the way So I just finished cleaning my face with a milk jelly cleanser and I'm kind of glad that like I didn't spend $30 on that. I didn't, like I don't feel amazed by it. I mean like my face feels clean and stuff but like, I don't know. It's like, it's okay. I mean it's, it's not bad but it's not like amazing either if you kind of get what I'm saying. I'm just gonna moisturize my skin because recently in the winter my skin has been super dry and I've been getting dry patches like crazy. So I use the Pond's um, Dry Skin Cream Facial Moisturizer. And I just got this one because it was like the cheapest at Target. And it looked good and I had, it had like good reviews. But I also really like the Clinique one. This was a thing I have been like, you guys have no idea how anxious and like excited I've been for this. I have literally been checking the tracking since I ordered it last week. I got in the bomb.com, I got coconut and I got the birthday one. So I'm gonna smell them both. So it looks like this. It's really cute. It has the little sparkles on it. Oh, that smells so good. It smells like Vanilla Bean Noel from Bath and Body Works, if you guys know. What I'm talking about, it smells just like, that's like my, one of my favorite like middle school scents. I'd wear that to middle school and like some of high school, like all the time as my perfume. Like I was that into vanilla. So if you like vanilla, like this one would be awesome for you. This one I've already smelled. It doesn't smell like straight up coconut. It's like coconut vanilla, which is also good. I think I'm gonna put on the birthday one because I really like the scent of that one. And then I'm gonna start doing my regular makeup. So I'm gonna like go and put on my mascara and some foundation. And then I'm gonna use the other products that I got. And then put it on my lips. I'm gonna go finish my makeup or start my makeup. And I will check back with you guys to put on the other products I got from Classier. So, yeah. So I just finished doing my makeup. I just did some light makeup because all I have today is class and I didn't feel like putting on like the whole day with foundation and stuff. And the whole like purpose of Glossier I feel like is a more natural glowy look. So I didn't want to go overboard with the makeup and I wanted to just do my everyday. So I filled in my brows, I threw on my sus I threw on some mascara and then I also went ahead and I put some eyeliner, concealer, and powder on. That sounds like a lot, but I feel like it's light. So I'm gonna kind of like go in the whole order that I would usually do my makeup. So I'm gonna take the Glossier Boy Brow. It's in this like white, really clean and sleek bottle. I usually use the Benefit Gimme Brow, so it's gonna be kind of like what I, I'm comparing it to. And I got it in the shade brown. I think there was like clear, blonde, brown, and black. It's really little. And I have recently been into like the whole like, um, brushing your eyebrows up. And a big problem I find with the Benefit Gimme Brow is that too much product tends to come out on the wand. So I'll get like chunks of brown gel on my eyebrow, which I don't find this one doing. Which is actually a big plus because that can be really annoying. Um, I'm gonna kind of like just brush them a little bit upward. It's not like too much. But you can tell it did make it look definitely a little bit darker. Okay, so I really like how it adds a tint. And it's not like overboard. And I like how it is very clean. I like that a lot actually. I use the Benefit Gimme Brow one which is a really nice one too. Um... And I think it's around the same price. And I have to say I like that one better just because of how it applies the product. I think that is a big plus. The next thing I'm going to take is the Cloud Paint, which is one of their most popular items. I feel like this is also one of the reasons that they became so big was because of the Cloud Paint. It's a seamless cheek color is what it says. And I have heard that you can put it on both cream base or powder base. Uh, so it says, for best results, apply with fingertips. Gently squeeze a tiny dot onto finger and blend onto cheek. 
add more as you wish. So I really like um, more mauve deep colored blushes and I've never really been like a big like bright pink blush girl. I'm gonna put like a tiny bit. Okay, that's definitely not a tiny bit. As you can tell, I have like no rosiness to my face. So, oh, looks like a lot. Okay, so I'm just gonna, oh my gosh, that's way too much. Okay, um, we're gonna go on the other side and kind of like, but should I mess this all up? I look like a clown. Um, okay, so this is a bit of a mess. Fudge. I mean, I guess actually it's blending out well, right? Okay, that's not too bad, hopefully. I'm gonna take a little bit on this side. This color looks a bit more orangey than I thought it would from online. I was really wanting a more like rosy color, but this looks pretty like corally. Okay, actually, when you blend it out, it like, it's almost not there. So I'm going to, okay, yeah, that was just a bit of a scare. Okay, I think I like it, but I can't see it becoming like a staple. It seems a bit complicated for me. I feel like it got a little bit patchy on this side. It's it's definitely neat. Like it's not something that I have tried out before. So maybe I just also need to get used to using it. Next, I'm gonna use the Haloscope, which is a dual effect highlighter. So this is the color Quartz is the one that I chose out. So it looks like this. It's like a ring of highlighter and then gel. I see a lot of people apply it to their fingers first and then go apply it to their face, but I think I'm gonna apply it straight to my face. Okay, did I put too much? I don't know. I'm going like kind of overboard with these products, I feel like. It's very sticky, um, first off the bat. I think it's because of the inside part of it, which is a like gel consistency, I think. You definitely can see it, but then I feel like this face kind of already looks glowy from the cloud painter. It's very sticky, like very. Um, but I'm thinking that's what kind of helps with the glow effect. Kind of like make sure everything's blended out. Okay, so I like it. When looking at my makeup as a whole, I do like how it looks like overall the effect that it gives my skin and like how it looks very natural. So this is the You Smell Good perfume. It is the Glossier You. It says it's creamy, sparkly, clean, and warm. Glossier You perfume adapts to your skin chemistry and an addictive musk with earthy iris root and spicy pink pepper. It's familiar but elevated and it smells a little different on everyone because you are the most important ingredient. Cool. Okay, it looks like a little bottle. I can't even really smell it. I'm gonna spray it on my wrist first. Nothing's coming out. Did I break it? Uh oh, I think I did. I'm gonna be really sad because this is the whole reason I spent $50. Okay, this isn't coming out. Yeah, so that was a fail. That's not coming out. If I were to have to rank everything, I would probably do the bomb.com and birthday because it smells amazing and it also kind of tastes good because I accidentally licked my lips, but it tastes good. Um, then the Benefit Boy Brow, really good. I love how it applies and it looks natural, obviously, and my brows don't feel too stiff either, but I can tell that they're pretty in place. I like the Beam Highlighter. It is different, like just something I'm probably gonna have to get used to, but I like how easy it is to apply. Um, it looks really good in like a natural sheen. And then probably the Cloud Paint would be my last one because of the color that it ended up being. I wasn't that impressed with it. I wish it was like more of a rosy tone. I really like rosy blushes for my skin tones. And then the cleanser, I wasn't impressed with really. So that's everything that I have for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I had a lot of fun and I was super excited to make this video and I've been waiting and I knew as soon as like the package came, I was gonna film for you guys and show you what I thought of everything. I've never done like a first impressions kind of thing. So if you guys like this, give it a thumbs up or let me know in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Missing someone